Hello friends, I want to make a quick uh, strategy for you guys. So there is a perfect or there is an almost accurate and perfect um, trading strategy that I recently discovered and then um, I would like to share it with you guys so that um, you can also try it on your trading on your you can back test it. I back tested it severally. And I've seen the winning accuracy is quite high, and then it's something that I would like you to give it some time to check and see if it works very well for you. So it's a strategy, it's a scalping strategy that you can use on your forex, you know, your forex trading. But because I work with a, a, a binary options company that so get, so you can also use it on your Deriv MT5. So with your derivative MT5, you can use to trade like you trade volatility indices as if you are trading on the, on the forex market. But volatility indices, they are not like your forex pairs. You can trade volatilities on weekend, on Sundays, on public holidays. So the market is always running on volatilities and is not really impacted by fundamental news, events and uh, occurrences. So if you are ready for this strategy that I'll show you, let's um, dive into it. This video was brought to you by Sogit. Buy or sell your Bitcoin and perfect money on Sogit.com. We will pay you instantly within two minutes. Sign up today at Sogit.com slash register. All right, welcome back. So before I proceed with the strategy, I just want to um, um, educate you about our company that is always uh, sponsoring this uh, technical analysis videos that we do for you, this tutorial that we provide for you. Our company is called Soget.com. So if you are aware, Soget is a digital currency exchange uh, website in Nigeria and we deal on various digital currencies such as uh, Bitcoin, USDT, Perfect Money. But most importantly for our Deriv customers in Nigeria, if you are in Nigeria watching this video and you are trading on Deriv, then you can also use Soget.com to fund your Deriv account. So you simply head on to our website as you can see displayed on your screen. You head on to Soget.com and then you, you, if you are a new customer, so you sign up for an account that by clicking on the register button, then after signing up an account, then you log into your Soget account and you click on fund Deriv. So once you do that, your Deriv and you make payment to our bank account, your Deriv account will be funded instantly within uh, two minutes. And also, if you want to withdraw money from your Deriv account, let's say you've traded and you want to withdraw your profit or you want to withdraw your dollars from your Deriv account, you can also contact us on Suget and then you log into your account on Suget and you click on withdraw Deriv or sell Deriv funds and your Deriv withdrawal will be will be, be, be processed by the reef and the Naira equivalent so get we are going to pay to your bank account instantly within uh, two minutes. So that is it and you can always contact us on our contact channels on our, we are on our office and then uh, we are on Telegram or WhatsApp you can always contact us for any questions you may have. So let's return back to the uh, video, the strategy. So it's a simple strategy that you can use for scalping. It's very useful on volatilities. You can see volat you, are, you can see on my screen here where I have different volatility indices. This volatility 10, this volatility 75, 100 index, like that. So what you need to just do is on your chart like this, you are going to install you are going to add this indicator. This indicator is called Bollinger Band. You are going to add the Bollinger Band indicator. So let me just show you. Let me just show you. If I right click on it now, I click on properties. Alright, so on the Bollinger Band, just add your Bollinger Band. The period should be 100 and the deviation is 2. So once you are okay with that, just take OK. So I will do the I will show you the strategy. I will show you different opportunities you can use in this strategy and then um, everything you need to do. And then um, if the video is so long, I I may cut it into a different episode because we don't really like doing long videos because our people don't like watching too long a video. So that's the first indicator you need to install, which is the Bollinger Band. So you just come on that insert here, you come to indicators, then you come to you can see Bollinger Band here. But if you come under this trend, 
you see your uh, Bollinger band is a trend indicator so you just see your Bollinger band there and you install it on your chart then the next indicator you will be using is called the MACD and that is what you are seeing at the bottom of the chart here this MACD so you also install it on your chart if I show you now this is the property just click on uh, MACD okay so you can see your MACD this is the settings the fast EMA 12 then this SMA 9 then the slow EMA 26 so you can always use the color of your choice so once you are okay with that you take okay so that is what I have been using on my chart here you can see different um, volatility indices you can see that these are the different um, indicators on their chart as in the same the same settings but these are the indicators on different volatility charts as you can see on my on my screen here so so guys let me just tell you what you need to look out for for this strategy to to work for you you can see that the market is running like so now this is your this is, is this is your Bollinger band you can see the Bollinger band the three line the upper band and the lower band is there so anytime your candlestick anytime a candlestick closes below the lower band of the Bollinger band or closes above the upper band of the Bollinger band that is a good signal to sell so that if it closes below the lower band then you will now look at your MACD if your mark as long as if your MACD the MACD uh, uh, histogram that the lines like this if it's below if when when you when the candlestick closes below the lower band and the MACD is also below this zero here this this just like this you are seeing here then that is a good signal to sell so once you get such perfect uh, setup you can enter a sell trade as you are seeing like this, this is a very good uh, signal for me to sell you get this is a very good signal for you to sell so when you enter your sell trade like i said it's a scalping strategy so where are you going to use your stop loss and take profit your stop loss will be when the your, your stop loss you you take your stop loss when the candlestick in case the go the trade goes against you if the candlestick reverses and closes above the Bollinger band line remember that this this Bollinger band this is 100 this is 100 EMA is an is is a is a very accurate um, I would like to put it it's one of the best uh, settings you can use for the for your Bollinger band and this middle band here which is the the, uh, the, the division let me just show you again what I'm talking about so it's two so division is two the period is 100 so i've tried different set of different settings this this one gives this one gives a, a very accurate um, result when you back test it you can you can back test it to, to see what i'm talking about so now once your candlestick closes below the lower band and your macd is also below this zero line like this and it's coming down you can enter a sell trade so what it means is that a trend is about to form and you can enter the trade and you can ride the trend then if if, if, the, if the trade let's say the trade goes against you if the trade goes against you and the candle a can a, a bull candle closes above or inside the Bollinger band line that you, you will use in entering the trade then you close that trade in a loss so you don't so that you can you can minimize your losses so that is just the rule of this strategy and if you decide to backtest this, you see what I'm you see what I'm talking about. Let me just show you on that one. Here. Look at this trade here now. Alright, see, see this trade here. You can see, look at this candlestick, it closes below the lower Bollinger band. And you can see the MACD is also below this zero line. And you can see, as even you enter a sell trade here, you would have entered the trade here and you will still be in the trade up until this region you can see so you can see that this is where the your trade would have closed if you are monitoring the trade so when you enter your trade in, in, because when i do this i don't set a default stop loss and take profit i simply stay online and monitor the trade this trade you, you do it on one minute time frame it's not a higher time frame so with one minute time frame you can do this within five ten minutes you can scalp and when you are busy you cannot go offline you come back again to your chart you scalp you just do this short time and you go so you don't need to use a 10 a one hour time frame four hours time frame it's just a scalping strategy so once you notice that the candlestick has closed above the 
closed very well. When he, when I say very well, he closed like look at this one now. You can see this candlestick. It closes well inside. Even not not even this one. Look at this this with this one I would have I would have exited my trade. This candle this candle here. Remember that this was where I would have entered. I would have entered it, so I would make a decent profit. And you can see this as I'm talking to you in this video now. You can see that there is a good signal that we saw. If not for this video that I did, I would have entered a trade at this point. You can see I would have entered a trade at this point here. You can see I entered a trade at this point. And at this point, I was still being in profit, or I, or I could have closed it at this point. So let me just show you other uh, opportunities because I've backtested this very well, and it's a very good uh, strategy. This video was brought to you by Sogit. Buy or sell your Bitcoin and perfect money on Sogit.com. We will pay you instantly within two minutes. Sign up today at Sogit.com/register.